Hey guys, this is Mark with Iable Tech Winswait. In this video, I want to talk about working with proxies inside of Premiere Pro and our workflow on how we deal with them. So if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that we shoot red raw. These files are massive and they are a pain to work off of, especially over the network, because we don't store these files on our computers locally. We put them on a server on our local network and we edit off of the network. So it's a little bit ridiculous to edit 4K raw footage over the air, basically, because we're connecting to Wi-Fi, not even Ethernet. And it's going to be beneficial at times to work with proxies. So I'm going to show you my process of importing proxies using Media Encoder and how we use them inside of Premiere. So first off, we have a dedicated machine that's only going to be exporting our videos and transcoding our footage. So we have a 2012 Mac Mini maxed out. It's super slow and it's a, not an ideal machine, but I had one sitting around, so why not use it? So the only program that's really ever running on the Mac Mini is Media Encoder, and whenever we pop in a drive, we will go ahead and select those clips and import them using our default ingest, which is NAS Transcode. So inside of that NAS Transcode preset, I have it to copy to a certain location, so it's copying all the raw footage to one location, and it's also transcoding that to another location, and we're using a preset, which is called, obviously, transcode. So taking a look at our transcode preset, I'm actually down sampling our 4K raw footage into a 720p um, file. I've talked to a bunch of filmmakers before, and the consensus is that GoPro Cineform is a pretty great mezzanine file system. I am not delivering in Cineform, and I am not delivering in 720p, so the file format that you pick for your proxy is not going to matter that much. Cineform is great if you're going to deliver straight from that format. If I'm just converting from raw to a edit ready format, um, Cineform is a great one for that, but I feel like quality is pretty good so you're not going to miss much and I can play a 720 at full resolution over the network without any dropped frames and I don't know why I use GoPro Cineform, it's just always worked and that's what everybody else uses. So once our footage has copied over to the server and our footage has transcoded, we'll go ahead and open up Premiere, I'll make a new project, and I'll import the raw footage. From there, I'll select all of our clips, right click, and then say Link Proxies. I'll open up my Proxies folder, I'll select all of them. We'll make sure they all automatically populate with the proxies because they are named exactly the same, which is going to help with that process. And we should be good. Now if we go ahead and import a clip, we can toggle proxies on. You may have to go into settings and add that. But once proxies are on, you can see we can play back full resolution 720p without any dropped frames over the network, over Wi-Fi, which is ridiculous. And once we are done editing, we can disable proxies. I can go ahead and edit the color using the raw benefits. And then we can go ahead and export it. And that will then export the original raw footage, not the 720p proxy, because Premiere is actually smart enough to know not to use your proxy footage unless your original is offline. But there you go, that is just a really quick introduction to our um, transcoding proxy workflow inside of Premiere working over the network. Um, by doing this, we are able to work a lot quicker with less dropped frames because again, none of this is actually stored locally. If you have any questions about our workflow and what we do, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer your question. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with IowaTech1Tweet and I'll see you in the next one.